Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the highlights from a pretty awesome, super fun hunt in Savannah. But before we head into it, guys, if you haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the notify bell, and if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. That would be super awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here today. All right, so we're starting off our hunt here at the bottom middle lake, which is one of the best spots for hunting for lions. And I've spotted a seven on the side of the lake and just trying to get eyes on them. I think I have another lion over here, but what is it and where is it? Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. There he is. Another seven. All right. He's alarmed. Yikes. Let's see if we can take a shot right now. Just aim slightly to the right of the heart and should be a good heart shot. I'm using the 338 right now because the 300 doesn't seem to be working perfectly right now. So that is a gold. 46 is the trophy. This lion weighs 234.45 kilograms. And that's an awesome start. We'll take it. A gold lion. And this is the lake that I'm talking about. One of my favorite spots for lions. Usually I find three drink zones on that lake. All right. We are heading out to one of my favorite feed and rest spots. I love coming out here and checking what's in the fields and we have a white springbok. Looks like we have an albino, just a level one female, but that's pretty cool. That's a, that's a cool find. We're definitely going to have to take a shot on her. So today I am carrying with me the M1, the 243 and the 338. I am carrying the 243 for the springbok and for the jackal. I would normally carry the Mosin. That would be my preferred weapon for Springbok, but you can't use that on Jackals, so I am stuck with the 243 or the 223. All right, we're just gonna bring the 243 to the forefront here so I can grab it real quick. It's always good to get some elevation. Keep yourself back about 180 meters and they shouldn't be able to hear you. We're about 170 and change, so we are good. Always like to check out what's in the area. You never know what might be lurking around, so always spot absolutely everything. We have a nice big herd of Gemsbok here. Nothing too special, though. So now that I'm getting closer, I'm creeping because I don't want to spook these guys. And my female is tired. She is having a rest. All this feeding is exhausting. I know. <laughs> All right, we need to get her up. I I guess our options for getting up resting animals are shooting a 22 in the area, but not too close. Oh, she's up. We're good. We're putting out a call. That's good. She is, she is done. Yes. All right. Nice. We have an albino springbok. Not my first one, but uh, never do turn down the opportunity to shoot any rare. That's for sure. And albinos are one of my favorite. I just love their pink hooves and their pink noses. That's pretty sweet. So we have a level one female bronze springbok, an albino. She has a trophy of 65.8, and we shot her from 114.72 meters with the 243. And that's a pretty cool start to our hunt. Well, let's find something else. And this is where we found her. One of my favorite spots for feeding and resting. For all kinds of animals, just head to that outpost and head right out to the fields there. All right, we are at my very favorite Wildebeest rest spot. This is in the bottom left hand corner. Yep. This has been my favorite spot for a long time. 
So many amazing wildebeest have come out of this area, as well as warthogs and Cape buffalo. Awesome spot to hunt, guys. So I'm feeling lazy. I'm going to take a long shot. <laughs> I don't know what I hit, but uh, that is one dead wildebeest. It just topped over. <laughs> and I accidentally shot it with the 243 because I just shot that albino springbok and I forgot to move my gun back. Oops. Well, I don't know what I hit, but it's a vital hit and the 243 should be good, so let's have a look. <laughs> it's a diamond! That is too funny! Well, okay! What the heck did I hit? Flesh, middle neck, lower neck, cervical spinal cord. Okay, can you guys say lucky shot? Oh my goodness, that's pretty crazy lucky. 37.7, this guy weighs 270.51. Max weight, level four, diamond wildebeest. And uh, we just took a willy-nilly shot from 297.12 meters. Well, I guess Lady Luck is on Lady's side today. We will take it. And this is where we found him. And here is a highlight from my Twitch stream from a couple days ago. I thought they were going to come and drink by that lake there, but they're turning and going this way. Okie dokie. That guy's a beige, looks like. We got more out here. Level three. Ooh, we got a level four, and that... Ooh, she goes up to 369. Yes! Where is she going? Where is she going? Oh, I can't see for that tree. That's not it. Yeah, I do have the right gun. Look at them all. Ooh! Look at that! Is that a dark? That one goes up to 333. There is a bigger one. We actually found some good Gemsbok here. Alright, we're not ending the stream this minute. I got some Gemsbok to kill. <gasps> there she is. Alright. She dead. She is dead. Well, she's definitely a nice one. Ah, yes! It's a diamond! So sweet! That is awesome! Look at that! Right off my own map. That's kind of crazy. Well, I'm gonna take a photo of that. Very sweet. Double lung and liver from 73.41 meters. She is 210 kilograms. Really? Wow. Wow! 356.4? That's huge, isn't it? That's crazy! Nice! So that literally happened in the last 30 seconds of my Twitch stream the other day. And I think when it happened, I must have been out of it. I seemed a little out of it because I did not notice this is her. I didn't even notice that it said 205 to 240 kilograms because that's a guaranteed diamond and that didn't even twig on me. So <laughs> I didn't realize. So I do think the one on the right, that's the max weight, might be slightly bigger than the one on the left there from a while ago. But and I always thought that a max weight female Gemsbok would be a level five. I am sure that I've shot one in the past. And I, this is a level five male Gemsbok. And to me, it just looks so much bigger than the females. What do you guys think? Don't they look bigger? They look just huge to me. So let's have a look at the albino springbok from today's hunt. This is her. She is uh, just a level one female and I do have a silver one from a little while back. So I guess we need to grind for a gold one now. 
Let's head over to the Wildebeest room. And this is our crazy <laughs> willy-nilly 243 by accident shot. Max weight range level 4 Diamond Wildebeest from today. Pretty crazy. And I think that's a good spot for us to end our video. If you enjoyed and or learned anything from today's video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can join us for more videos. We have lots of awesome content coming up. Until next time, you guys take care. We'll see you soon.